Wene tefto i tau mua ke whakalelei ai ngahi sevesi, hiki i ke toelelei yange ai moui ai kakai o kunofo mo ngā aue i nuku alofa, ai kakai o kunofo ma sevesiwa. O whakatefito ia i hono whakalelei o e mau anga wai, maa ai a takai i helelei ai tokanga i kina o e wewe, ngahi langa o kumaa mo hai sini o hange ko i toeleti ko whangai whakatapu, i e ngahi whetu o whakapure anga mo e tau taha. Palani whakalelei o hakolo mua, he ma o hakolo o kuma ui ui mo lanu mata. Koe ātakai o hakolo mua, o kumaa mo whaka ofu ofa, ma ai kakai kotoa o e whonua kotonga. It's very important, urban planning management systems that we have in place, it's critical to our development in order not to uh, repeat the mistakes that we're currently uh, undertaking in the past, but to make sure that the country goes forward. But with the new Planning Act, it's tailor-made because it's from a Tongan perspective. It empowers Tongans to act in terms of our consultation and participation in all the projects and, 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 and the vision that uh, with government of the day we can actually marry that to get a, a projects that uh, will better Tonga in the future. I think uh, the major uh, achievement of this project is giving us the, the spare capacity to, to in terms of operation and then it gave us uh, another 50 new pumping stations to, to run the system uh, uninterrupted. I think after the um, first phase of the project, uh, we got feedback from customers in regards to the water pressure. Uh, there were, we had issues before, uh, especially in higher area. Um, they did not receive um, water uh, services supply 24-7. The peak hour was the most complicated uh, time and that's the time in early morning. So as after the project, uh, the great impact um, installing the two collective main tanks uh, reservoir uh, improved the water pressure for the Nukalofa water supply services. I think uh, Tonga Water Board is, is a potential, very good potential to, to further uh, develop and be more efficient in its uh, operation. This is a grassroots project where touched down to the grassroots people of Tonga. Public convenience, Actually, uh, all of them, uh, I can say I can't really compare. Some are successful, some are not. I think they are, they are all running well, successful, in terms of uh, infrastructure and also um, human resources, the awareness, all those ones uh, combined very needed uh, badly by, by, by ways authority limited. Uh, in terms of uh, development up to where we are now. So I was working a lot with NUDSB on the Clean Green Tonga initiative. It was an initiative that was commenced in 
August 2015 and it was a project for a drive for change to uh, encourage communities to take ownership of their uh, environment and looking after it and just pretty much working towards a more cleaner and greener town. Trash is a normal sight here in Nogalofa, flying around when, whenever you go. But now you, you're getting used to it. this is the new normal. It's a clean and environment. Rubbish and debris and everything, Tonga is at a very much better state now than it was 20 years ago. It is very important for the supervisors to make sure that the quality of the output, that the quality of the product or the structure is made. However, if we don't, that means that the uh, life of the proposed structure, we don't get it. It is very important to have quality assurance for every sub-project, even on infrastructure or whatever, quality assurance is very important. And I believe with the Nugalofa Urban Development Sector project, I'm pretty confident that uh, quality has been achieved on every sub-project that we did. Yeah.